Okay. Let's go. All right. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Joomla Day USA. This morning, we're going to have Sakas Terza talk about a custom extension that he's created for Joomla 4. Uh, he has been in technology for a very long time, starting as a developer in 2005. And he stumbled upon Joomla and created his first extension for VirtuMart back in 2008. Uh, that has morphed into creating extensions for Magenta. And he has started a new venture with Blue Coder, which creates extensions for Joomla 4, which he'll talk more about today. Just a few housekeeping notes. We want to thank our sponsors who have all contributed to this fantastic event, which is our second year of hosting uh, with Joomla Day USA. Now, those sponsors can be found on our website as well as in our lobby. Make sure that you join us for Kuma Space afterwards to get a chance to talk to everyone. And at lunch, there's also a, a room where you can go and socialize. With that in mind, I'm going to turn things over to uh, Saka so that he can tell you a little bit more about himself as well as jump into our topic of the day. Throughout this session, if you have questions, please put them in QA and we will make sure that we get them to Saka. Saka, it's all yours. So, hi everybody. Thanks for joining. I'm really happy to be here and meet you even virtually. So I'm Saka Serzis, I'm from Greece. I started as a web developer back in 2006 and worked as an, extens an extensions developer since around 2008. Uh, beyond that, I'm also developing search and filtering applications for about a decade. And here I am to talk about that subject. So in the first uh, part of my talk, I will focus on why search and filtering is important on our sites. I'm going to share my screen. So the first question is, is the more the options we provide to our customers, the better? For example, here we see a nail in a supermarket packed with pasta sauces. Do you think that this number of options generates the best outcome for the business? Well, here are the results of an experiment conducted by two researchers from Stanford and Columbia University. What they did was to install a tasting booth in a grocery store. And certain days they showcased 24 tastes of jam. And other, case they show, other cases they showcased six tastes of jams. And it turned out that when they showcased 24 jams, the purchase rate was around 3%. And when they showcased six jumps, the purchase rate was around 30%. So do you think, uh, do you still believe that the more choice is the better? It turns out that uh, when we offer so little choices, we are demotivated to make a decision. And when we offer too many, there is frustration because of our constraints, our time constraints, our mind's capacity constraints. So there is, there is an optimal point where the maximum effectiveness is achieved. And uh, our goal in the web is to maximize this uh, effectiveness. But how can we do it? Well, we have basically two tools, search functionality and filtering functionality. Here we see the percentage of the users who use a search engine on site and the revenue they generate. So as we can see, just 9% of the users globally use the on-site search, but this 9% generates the 22% of the revenue of those businesses. So as you can understand, the conversion rate for those users is much higher to the users who are not using the search engine of the site. But is on-site search enough? 79% of US adults agree that it's important to be able to filter the content and the search, the search result by relevant attributes. These are data for a, a survey conducted by Forrester, I think. And so now Joomla has a powerful search engine, the smart search. 
But what about filtering? I'm going to demonstrate how to create a filtering system in Joomla. So here I have a site named Laser Crunch. It's about films and books. Each of these items has categories, tags, custom fields. Let's see the custom fields. So as you can see here, there are a lot of custom fields. And we will see how we can utilize them as filters. I'm going to install J filters. So if you have something to say, feel free. <laughs> Okay, I think it takes a lot of memory. So I'm installing J Filters Pro. Open the J Filters component. So you may get some alert messages at the top of the page after the installation, please press those buttons and everything will be fixed for you. So as we can see here, we have uh, filters for the category, for all, for all our custom fields and for the tags. For the moment, I'm going to use the filters only for the custom fields. I'm going to exclude tags and categories. Just publish them. Then I'm going to create a filtering module. Uh, our results page needs a menu item where the results will be injected. So I'm going to create such a page. I can create it from the menu items of Joomla or directly from here, from the menu, from the module. I prefer doing it from here because it's shorter. Let's name it Laser. Some settings about this menu item. These are the same with the smart search result page, the same settings, because this extension uses the same layout. Something else, we do not like this menu item to be directly accessible. So I'm going to hide it from the menu. Here we are. Let's name the module filters. Publish it, set a position. So if I now go to my front end, you can see all the filters here. But at the moment they are just links. I'm going to do some configuration. So, this is going to be checkboxes. The language is going to be, let's say, radio buttons. The author are going to be checkboxes. So I'm just changing the display type for the moment. Okay. Let's give this to the links. Okay. So if I now go, as you can see, 
We have all the filters. Let's make the gears also checkboxes to be multi-select. So as you can see here, we get our filters, okay? A basic feature is that the filters are always relevant to the page's content. So if I'm visiting this category, you will get filters only for the documentaries. If I, I go to the books, I get filters only for the books. The same applies for the search. If I try a search, you get filters relevant to those results only. So you can refinement more. Okay. So what's, what else? Uh, what about going to create, creating a new custom field? Let's see how we can utilize it as filter. Okay, let's go and create one more. Let's name it director. It's gonna be used in subform only. And now I have already subform custom field. I'm going to add the director as well. Now let's go to the articles and set some values. Director, let's say, Jim Roy. Okay. Let's do one more. Actors could say John Doe. So now, how can I use those custom fields as filters? I'm going to J filters, press the synchronize button, and as you can see, the director is created as a filter. So you may get it two times. One is a single field, and the other is a part of the subform, which we use. Let's generate, publish this filter. Let's say so if I go to our movies, We see our directors here, right? Now, a few other features. The filtering module can work with Ajax, which is much faster. And we also have another module named JFilter Selections, which shows all the selections from all the filters. So I'm going to publish it. Okay, here's Ajax. Yeah, it's 
it's not published. I did not set the pages. So as you can see, you get all the selections on the top. I think this is quite user friendly. I can also clear an option if I don't want it. Next, what about going and creating filters for our categories, but for our tags too? So now category is in listening state. That means that it can listen to incoming requests. And in plain words, that means that the other filters can be relevant to the pages category. So I'm now going to publish it. And I'm going to do the same for the tags. Let's set the tags to be buttons, multi-select buttons, because we like them to be like buttons. Okay, I'll keep the others as they are. So if I go here, I can see my categories, so I can change category. Okay. And I can also see my tags. Okay. So now, what about going to create a module, filtering module, with only the tags inside that can be used as a replacement to the core tags module? And you may wonder why should I use a third party module for something that already exists in the core? First of all, you are getting tags only relevant to your pages content, to your search results, to your category page, whatever you are watching. Second, you have additional display types, for example, the buttons, the drop down lists, radio buttons, etc. Third, you can use Ajax to get the results. So let's go and use this module, create this module. I'll create a new filters module. From here, I will select only the tags. Okay. Set it to the left position. Assign it on all pages. Let's name it tags. Ah, I'm just using Ajax. Also, I'm going to exclude tags from the other filters because I do not want to have duplicates. I exclude it from my main filtering module. And here are the tags. So as you can see, when I select, when I click on a tag, both the results are updated the selections are updated and the other filters are updated to Ajax. Okay. So, as you can see, here I'm getting all the filters only relevant to this one. Okay. Now, all those custom fields are usually keywords that you, you, we use also inside our text, no? What about having them as links that return results within our text? This is something that you can do with, with J filters. For example, for example, if you have an actor playing in a movie, why not having this actor as a link uh, that returns all the movies he has played? when this link is clicked. Let's go and do that. 
for example, let's go in this one. I see the actors are John Doe and Jim Roy. Why not go and can say playing Here you get all the filters and their values. So if I go here and select John Doe, you get a link for that filter. Okay, I don't know why this continues. And direct it by Jim Rohn. So if I now go to this article in the front end, we have those links here. And if I press them, I'm getting relevant results. Cool, eh? So another feature, feature I'd like to stress is that uh, our results are SEO friendly. So you get clear human readable URLs. The page title is updated based on the selected filters. Uh, meta descriptions can be used, which are fetched from the category. Canonical tags are used. So in terms of SEO, I think you get everything you need there. And every filter has settings for SEO, which you can use. These are about the URL format, the nesting level of the URLs, if the page title will be updated, if uh, no follow links will be used, canonicals will be used, all that stuff are already there. So this is pretty much, any question? Sure, there's a couple questions for you. The first one is, can a book or article be linked to multiple filters through, you know, like through a tag or something like that? Yes, it's about the custom fields you are using. Every custom field you are using inside can be converted to a filtering link. So these are the custom fields that this article is using. And if I go to the front end and try to filter using them, this is movies. Okay. So if I go to movies and select Netflix, language Spanish, I'm not sure if I'm answering the question. Yes. Yes, you are. Uh, if uh, he or she means that if you can use multiple values here in the sub four fields, yes, it's the same. Doesn't change. You can use as many as you like. You will get the results properly. Great. So our next question uh, is a very long one. Uh, Okay. And it is, first of all, they're thanking you for such a great extension, which I agree, this is very cool looking. Um, but their first question is, how does it load the hosting? And they specifically, they want to know, can it be used on shared hosting? Yes, of course. I think that uh, most of these links or, or filters uh, were measured uh, in comparison with the core 
core modules like the categories and the tags. Mm -hmm. uh, many times they were faster. I see. But, but again, I cannot give a straight question. For example, if you have a site with 100,000 articles, well, I don't think that any module is enough there can cover you. So, this, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, yeah. nobody can give you a straight answer to that. Um, they were thinking 10 to 20 fields and about 1,000 articles. Yeah, I think uh, you will not have any problem. Okay. The next question is, does the module work normally with the Joomla cache? Uh, for the time you, you are not using the cache, if, if they are uh, talking about the module cache, uh, we are not doing this because uh, it will generate uh, a big number of cache, of cache files, which I'm not sure is very efficient. So for the time, no. Okay. Because if you can see, for every filter you select, you get different number of filters here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you will have many, many, many passing instances. I'm not sure if this is very efficient, both in creating them and in reading them. Okay. And then the last question is, you mentioned that the, um, that the links are indexed. Can you make them non-indexed, like adding no follow? Yes, you can do this from the menu item. You create it, as with every menu item. Uh, no follow links or no index page. It's it's a different thing. Think. So if we are talking about the no index page, if you go to the menus. Go here to our menu item. You can set it to be no index from here. But a no index is a page property, a no follow is a link property. So if you are talking about the link, this exists already as a setting in J filters. You should go to any filter at the SEO tab. Follow links by search engine. You can set if you'd like to get followed or not. Hope I answered your, your question. I think so. So where can someone get this wonderful extension? So I have also a few questions for you. <laughs> <coughs> These are some of the next features we consider adding. And I would appreciate it if you would like to vote any of them. So you're asking us if we, what we would like to see next in this extension. Yeah, if okay. you like any of this or any other that you're th you thinking that is missing, you are free to mention it. <laughs> Feel free to, jump, to answer in chat. I know for myself, I would love to see it work with Calm Contact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, we have some votes for range filters and date ranges would it be it would be helpful. So a number of votes for range filters. Okay. Okay, if we are done. Uh, this extension is developed by Blue Coder, as I said in the beginning. So you can go to our site, bluecoder-coder.co and download. The, there is a free version and a pro version. Uh, I think the free version is uh, quite useful as most of the features I mentioned today. But if you want more advanced, if you have a bigger site and you want more advanced features like the Ajax, uh, you can also go for the pro, pro version. And how much so, is the pro version? Uh, I, there are two pro plans. 
Uh, one is 49 euros and the other I think is uh, 89, I'm not sure, but I can... No, I cannot find it right now. Okay. <laughs> the, pro, the single pro version is uh, 24, nine, no, 49 euros. Okay. Now, does your extension work through the Joomla updater? Yes, of course. And this is an extension only for Joomla 4. So there is no version for Joomla 3. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy sure. from Virginia says this looks amazing and I have to agree. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any other questions for our speaker today? Laura raised hand. <laughs> Let's go to my camera. So I put it in the chat, but this is, it's a little more extensive of a question, but because I can unmute myself, I'm going to just ask. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. So first of all, this extension looks amazing and it's really exciting. My question is, I'm not a big fan of a category blog view because it's somewhat limiting unless I create overrides to control exactly what's displayed. So with your tool to filter, it's only linked with the Joomla core category blog view. Is that correct? Or are you know, talking about the layout? The layout of the results. The result layout is what I'm really focused no, on. No, we are using the smart search results. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's exactly so exactly the same. So if I, I'm going to perform a search, as you can see, it's the same. So the even that view, I'm not. A, I like more control over what I'm seeing in my search results. There are other tools that I use instead of category blog views, because um, the smart search basically shows the category blog view. Correct. So it shows. No, the no, no. It's a, it's a different layout. It's another layout. So did you create an override for the smart search layout? So no, I'm using, uh, I think this is a, a trick we used. It, it loads the smart search lay, layout directly. It's not an override or, or anything else. So if you have an override for the smart search, it will get this override also in J filters. Okay, so the our, smart our search- goal, Our yeah. goal was to always have the same uh, results uh, page in safe filters and smart search because they can use together, they can combine. So with the smart search layout, um, what that's controlling, what that's displaying is the, is that image a custom field or no? That image is part of the content, correct? It's just a left aligned yeah. image, right? Joomla 4.1 uh, mm -hmm. can display images in the search results. This is a pull request that uh, I created in Joomla. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for that. <laughs> But the latest, the latest version of Joomla, uh, I think it, it was uh, 4 to 1 as a bug and does not display very much right now. We are waiting for a fix. Okay. So right now, the content that it's showing, the image and the text is just in the content of the article, correct? Yeah. So yeah. you would just left align the image. Um, I... I've been using custom fields for images. So that way my customer really cannot mess it up. So I yeah. have an image for the, a teaser image. I have a full image um, okay. and things like that. So the display is, um, is important, but this is really powerful. So thank you. This is great. Yeah. Uh, also we have a couple of blog posts in our site that explain exactly how you can uh, override this layout and uh, modify it to, modify it to your taste. Right. I think it's pretty detailed. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all <laughs> for tolerating me. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we thank you for joining us today. And just really quickly, if you guys are interested in this wonderful extension, please go over to Blue Coder blue-coder.com and check it out. As you can see, there's a demo here where they'll show some of the things that were shared with us today, as well as sign up to start using it on your Joomla 4 website. 
Any last questions for our speaker? So Nico um, just brought up, which I forgot, is that Mark is actually doing a session right now on changing the layout for the search results. So everyone that's in this class right now, you're going to have to want to watch the video yeah. <laughs> um, that Mark created. Um, Mark is a great fan results. of this extension, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Yeah. This looks like it'll go hand in hand. That's fantastic. It was one of my first users. Yeah, well, we're all going to go and get it now. <laughs> all righty. Well, I want to thank everyone for joining us this today, this morning, early for some of us. And don't forget to thank our sponsors, our premier sponsor, Watchful, our code sponsors, Cloud Access, J, J Modules, RS Joomla, Web 3357, Webler, Weebler, sorry, I keep saying Webler, uh, our Planet, Platinum sponsors, Com Commerce Lab, OSM, OS Trainer, Rocket, and of course, our silver sponsors, uh, Danico, Joomla Connections, Joomla Shack, L Theme, Mastermind, Joomla, Rytech Sites, Simplify Your Web, and Web Design by Robin. Uh, without these sponsors, this event would not be possible. There are many more sessions today. Go and enjoy Joomla. It is one of the greatest CMSs out there. Totally my opinion. You guys have a great rest of your day.